Hey everyone, Tony D and little Joan here with a hot take. And I'm here to say, told ya. Uh, here's a tweet that Trump made, I believe this was today. Many people in custody, with many others being sought for vandalization of federal property in Lafayette Park. Ten year prison sentences. Seeking information. And look at these guys. Got pretty good pictures of them. I told you. I told you this would happen. He's turning the FBI in your direction. And the FBI needs somebody. They need somebody to lock up. And it's going to be all these people. Oh, they're going to find you. They're going to find... They're definitely going to find some of these guys. The guys without masks, oh, they're screwed. They are screwed. Uh, those guys will be the easy guys. Suspe uh, looks like suspect one, three, seven, uh, eleven. Now the other guys have masks on, but who knows with the uh, with the rest of their pictures? Now a couple of them are really covered up. They're going to be the tough ones, but you know if any of these people are together, you just got to find their friends. They're looking at ten years. Oh, they'll talk. They'll talk. Some of these people will talk. That's how you get people, man. For what? What did you do this for? What did you gain? Nothing. You've gained nothing. The Chaz, by the way, uh, I was just watching a report about the Chaz and how it's still sort of up, but kind of not. Um... And, you know, one of the problems there is there's no one to talk to. They don't know who's in charge. They don't know who speaks for anybody. And the rumor is somebody claiming to speak for the Chaz stood up and said, everybody go home. Uh, we accomplished the revolution and make sure you vote for Joe Biden, basically. Does that sound like a bunch of Antifa revolutionaries to you? No, it sounds like a bunch of Democrats who infiltrated the movement. That's what this is. That's what this has always been. It's about unseating Trump. This is how desperate they are to get rid of Trump. Because the people who lost money when Trump basically upended the system, they lost billions. And they want it back. They want those deals back and they are willing to spend millions doing it because it's billions. They, they are, are very, very rich. Understand these are very, very rich people. So you might ask, why would they go through all this trouble and do all this destruction and damage? Well, first off, a lot of the destruction and damage won't touch them. They're rich. And second off, their income was cut when all these deals were upended and if it takes them a couple of years and they get the deals back or something like it by by getting Biden in and his globalist guys, then it'll be worth it, right? I mean, look, let's say you're making a billion dollars a year off your little little scam, whatever it is. It's a billion dollars. You could afford to spend a hundred million dollars on uh, taking down Trump. Sure, why not? It's jump change at that point. You, you still got $900 million plus all the money you had before that. Who cares? And if you could get your billion dollar scheme going again or something even bigger or something even close, don't matter. You'll make the money back. And this, these guys, they, they don't have any money. Most of these idiots are just woke idiots that don't have money in my view. Uh, and when I say they don't have money, I don't mean they're poor, poor. I don't mean they're actual poor. Actual poor people, they can't go to Washington and tear down a statue. <laughs> you know, they might get mad. They might go to a street protest or something that's nearby, that's near in their neighborhood. But actual poor people can't afford to go all the way to Washington. They can't afford that. How are they going to get there? They're going to have to take a bus. And how are, you know, they don't have any money. <laughs> they... they Real poor people don't do this much protesting. They just don't. Real poor people will protest in their neighborhoods, sure. But they're not going to go all the way to Washington to protest. These are college kids. 
And yes, their parents have some money, and some of them probably have a lot of money, and 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 some of them will get off because of that. But their lives are still going to be disrupted, right? I mean, look, very few of these people will have, in my view, the kind of parents who will instantly understand. Oh, well, you were just trying to take down Trump. Well, we'll give you all the support you need, honey. Tearing down that statue was the right thing to do. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. And uh, the big news in D.C., uh, besides the fact that they're 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 claiming they're going to build another Chaz, <laughs> and Trump is Trump is antagonizing them to do it. He's he's egging them on to do it, and I think we all know why. Because no one's going to fault Trump for tearing down the Chaz and arresting all those people. At this point. He sprung the trap. This is what Trump has done again and again and again. He's given these people enough rope and he just keeps, you know, he keeps unfurling it and they're just wrapping it around their necks <laughs> or, or whatever. <clears throat> and then they start running and they wonder why they start choking or tripping. And it's because that's the trap. He gives them enough rope to hang themselves. And this is what they're doing. They're all screwing themselves over with prison sentences in this case. Uh, and in the case of the Democrats, how do they explain this? How do they spin this? You know, Tim Pool's talking about, well, the average person doesn't really know what's going on. Eh, maybe, but I bet the people in Washington do. Um, I saw a great video. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I have to go to my Twitter to find it. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's, it's absolute insanity. I'm going to play this. I think I better play this without the sound because I think there's a lot of cursing. Cursing in this, sorry. Um, this is South Philly. And this is apparently, according to the person who tweeted, this is a bunch of South Philly guys going after Antifa. Now, it's really kind of hard to see, but the guys they're pushing around seem to have the outfit. They seem to have the hoods and the mask and uh, goggles, and they appear to be college kids. And the locals aren't having it. They're not having it. They just, uh, a couple of the girls get into a fight, and it's just, you know, it's just local knuckleheads. And, I, you know, and I'm not saying that as a derogatory term. I'm a knucklehead, too. Uh, but they're protecting their their neighborhood. They're very neighborhood-oriented in South Philly. Um, and they don't want these idiots, these woke morons, burning something down or taking down a statue. The city, by the way, is going to take down Columbus, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, at least that's more legal. At least they're not tearing it down and busting it apart yeah here's the fight it's it starts to get crazy yeah these two girls start getting into it and then there's a guy who like he falls down and kind of loses his pants and you could see a little butt crack going on you don't mess with guys from south philly you don't mess don't mess so there it is. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's what it is. And now you got these guys. They're going to jail. Some of them are going to go to jail. 15 suspects going to jail. These guys probably uh, pulled on the rope, I, I, I assume. And it's starting to happen all around the country, you know. And look, the Democrats may try to soft pedal it a bit, but in the end, they'll throw you right under the bus because they're politicians and that's what they do. In fact, if Joe Biden by some miracle wins election, you know, Tim Pool is saying, oh, all these people will be pardoned. I respectfully disagree greatly with that assessment. That's not politics. Here's politics. Okay, Joe Biden's elected. Is it worth my political capital to pardon these people? 
No. Because if I pardon these woke morons, they might start making more demands. In fact, um, I have to look stronger than Trump. In fact, I have a mandate because, you know, I'm a leftist, so they can't accuse me of being a tyrant. Besides, my side controls the media. They're not going to accuse me of being a tyrant. I'm going to say that, well, you know, they should have they should have been more respectful. And while I do agree with taking down Confederate statues, uh, it is illegal to attack public works. And these are very expensive. So some people are going to have to uh, uh, take responsibility for their actions. He will do it. He'll be tougher than Trump in some respects. Because at the end of the day, he has to be. Because the Republicans aren't disappearing if Trump loses. Oh, no. In fact, it will probably be President Biden and two red houses. And they'll spend all day passing legislation right over his head. Um, he'll probably be the most conservative Democratic Democrat ever elected. Because he'll never get anything through. He'll never get a policy through if that happens. If the Republicans have both houses and he has the executive, he might as well just quit. He might as well just quit and hand it over to Kamala Harris or whatever. Or whoever he picks for VP. And, and whoever, you know, whoever takes over, they ain't going to have any power either. It'll be, it'll be nonstop wall-to-wall -wall coverage of how powerless the president is. That's what it'll be. Um, but yeah, so you got these guys. They're in big trouble. I told you, you'd be in big trouble for this. And Trump just, he just waited. He just waited and let you guys get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now who's going to stop him? Who's going to say to Trump, oh no, that's too much, man. Come on. They were just protesting. Things got out of hand. You don't have to give them 10 years. Oh, no, now everybody agrees with that. Now everybody's like, yeah, 10 years because it's gone too far. And now they're going to go scoop up everybody. They found laws on the books, something about uh, veteran memorials and all these. I think just about all these statues. I mean, George Washington was a general. I believe Thomas Jefferson fought in the American Revolution. So I think he counts as a veteran, too. Uh, Cervantes, well, he wouldn't count. Um, but the guy I talked about, Hans Christian Haig, he fought in the Civil War. Ulysses S. Grant, Andrew Jackson, he was also a general, I believe. Blood and Guts, I think they called him. Was he Blood and Guts Jackson? He had some kind of nickname. No, Old Hickory. That was his name. Yeah, um, who's going to stop him? You? You woke morons, you might have your parents' money, but that's about it. That'll be that'll be done the first couple of months of your trial. And uh, you think Trump is going to tell them to step on the gas? He wants heads, not literal, figurative heads, to put on the wall and say, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years. That's what he wants. He's going to get it. The FBI loves to do that stuff. They love it. Look, the FBI didn't have any real enemies to fight. Uh, even during the Bush years, really, uh, those idiots had dropped the ball on 9-11. And then they suddenly woke up and started looking for Middle Eastern terrorists. They couldn't find any. So they had to frame local idiots <laughs> who were willing to listen to their CIs nonsense. Some of the guys they arrested were mentally ill. So... You guys have given them the perfect, perfect patsies. You're perfect. You're in America. <laughs> so they don't have to go overseas to find you. You leave a ridiculously long paper trail uh, or electronic trail, I should should say. You're easy to find. You're, you're online all day complaining about Trump and saying all sorts of outrageous things. And when you do that, you know, the one, one or two times you cross the line, you're like, Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. And then you don't get into trouble and you go, oh, nobody cares. You keep doing it and doing it. 
That's because the woke idiots at Facebook, Google, Twitter, they agree with you. And they ignore it. Well, they ain't going to ignore it forever. They ain't going to ignore it when the federal government says, hey, you know what? We're going to make you a publisher. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, we don't want to be sued. We'll, we'll suddenly uh, respect freedom of speech. Yeah, you watch. You watch it. Um, but you can't threaten people, right? You can't threaten people. And all those tweets, all those posts where you did kind of threaten people, but Facebook didn't flag it and Twitter didn't flag it. Have you forgotten that the internet never forgets? Have you forgotten all the people you've canceled by going back 10 years, digging up their sketches and whatnot? They're going to do the same thing to you, you woke morons. Only they're not going after your blackface or whatever. They're not going after, like, Jenny Marbles doing a comedy bit. They're going after your actual borderline threats that you've left posted all over your Facebook and Twitter feeds because you're so woke and wonderful. And Facebook didn't flag them, so you got worse and worse and worse. Now there's a whole paper trail. So if they can't use that to put you in jail, they'll use it to make you look like a total lunatic when they try you for this. And then the jury will be like, oh, wow, this guy's real nutbag. Well, yeah, let's put him in jail. Maybe then he'll learn. Maybe, maybe he should be taken out of society for a while. And then you can teach the prisoners in federal prison all your woke ideas. You could see how the prisoners enjoy communism. And you could experience their version of communism, I guess. I mean, they're all equal. Um, you know, I don't think they're going to be sharing with you equally, though. Prisoners tend not to do that. It's sort of like the strong survive. So start doing your push-ups now. Get in good shape. You're going to need to be in good shape to survive 10 years in the federal pen. Uh, and Trump, he ain't going to care. Biden, he ain't going to care either. Hate to tell you. <clears throat> Biden will do it for his image. Trump is doing it to get reelected and because you don't like him and he does not like you. With good reason. You, you have been a terrible people. This statue tearing down is just idiotic and dumb. I detest idiocy. I detest it. Stop being woke idiots, please. Stop. Stop. Turn yourself in. If you have any sense, turn yourself in. Because if you turn yourself in, that, that's instantly going to get you some cred with the judge. And you could just say, well, I got caught up in the mob. I, you know, I really didn't, I really didn't know what I was doing. I'm very sorry. You know, prostrate yourself. And maybe you'll you'll get off with a, a horrible fine. And if you could turn in some other people, that's the real key. See, if you could turn in other people, then you have something to negotiate with, right? So you say, listen, if I give you some of the other protesters, will you let me off? So check out these faces. You probably know some of them. That's your bargaining chip. But you got to be the first one. You got to be the first or second one because... The person who gets turned in after the fact, they don't get that deal. Nah. They don't get the deal. It's the it's a first person. So which which one of these fifteen are gonna turn on you first? Better get to the cops before they get to the cops first. Because, you know, there are guys with faces here. I can see faces here. Ain't gonna be hard. Ain't going to be hard to find those people. And they don't want to do 10 years. Nobody wants to do 10, or 10 years in the federal pen. I told you. I warned you. I told you not to do this. I told you to stop. But you didn't listen.